It's 638. Welcome back to 11 News Today. Camden is here yeah. this morning. WBAL TV's Puppy with a Purpose and Future Service Dog from America's, America's Vet Dogs. And we've been missing you because it's been kind of like you've been here, but at different times than Wednesday. Right. We decided to share Camden a little bit. <laughs> we don't like that, by the way. <laughs> Last Friday's um, evening news mm -hmm. and then also Sunday's morning. Right. Yeah. Right. So we, we had to share just a little bit. Everyone got their chance. <laughs> She's back with us. That's right. But um, we're having to share her a little extra because we're winding down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is our last month. Right. So just a couple Wednesdays left. Yeah, we're so sad about that. But yeah. And a lot of people do ask you how hard is it to, to let go, and it is hard. But then it's rewarding knowing what these dogs mean to other people. And this is your fifth dog. This is my fifth dog. And my actually my first one with the America's Vet Dogs mm -hmm. side of our organization. And uh, <laughs> she's done. But um, I have raised four others for our sister oh. organization, the Guide Dog Foundation. And on Monday was a two-year anniversary from the graduation from my third dog. Mm -hmm. So two years ago on Monday, I got to go and see her and her handler graduate together. Oh. And it was very special. And then what made it extra special is he um, offered to do a video a video call with me and so I could see him and his new wife and oh. um, my dog Mitzi uh -huh. and um, just hear that she's really continuing to change his life and give him continued independence where he's able to you know change careers confidently mm -hmm. to um, you know better support his family his new family and just Mitzi's going to be right with him oh. all along the way right and That's seeing that relationship with those two must just it is so special. Yeah. It really is. And it makes any of my kind of heartache from saying goodbye, it truly takes most of it away. Yeah. Um, it, it really is. It's, it's why I do this. Yeah. Um, the first time somebody sees their person graduate, mm -hmm. their dog graduate with, the, with their handler, it really, to me, it's life changing. Sure. Yeah. So. And you appreciate all the work that's been put in, not just by you, but all the handlers leading up to that point of what this dog is able to do. Absolutely. It's really a team effort. We have a, a group of approximately 50 puppies uh -oh. um, in the D.C., Northern Virginia, Maryland area. We're always looking for more puppy raisers. Mm -hmm. And if anybody is um, interested in becoming a puppy raiser, they can go to our sister organization, uh, guidedog.org, and, um, and apply to become a puppy raiser. It's a great community. We are all in it for the same thing, sure. mm -hmm. and that's to um, raise and train a great dog to just be so special for somebody. Mm -hmm. What a great way to give back if you're looking for a way to give back and you love dogs. Right. What a great combination of this. It's a give and get. Yeah. It really yeah. is. You get a lot from this dog. You get a lot from the experience. And boy, do I get a lot from just seeing the relationship sure. and, the, and the change that they make in someone's life. Yeah. I love it. Oh, we so love the work special. you do. And mm -hmm. if you can't, you know, have a dog in your house, you can always follow Camden all day long <laughs> oh, on Instagram. Yeah. That's where you can find some of the best moments that we've enjoyed so far with Camden. It's on Instagram. Our handle is WBALTV Puppy. And also use that hashtag today, Puppy Squad, to see all of her siblings. Go